Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the course forces problem C that is Rudolph and the ugly string. So what we need to do, we need to do like we are given an string S and what we need to do like we need to check like if there is pi or map then the answer sorry the string will be called as ugly. So there are examples of ugly string that we can have pi here and map here and again this is here and this is also here so we have that okay so we need to like uh, make it beautiful not make it beautiful ha huh. so we, we need to make it beautiful by removing some characters and we need to minimize that that is our goal okay so suppose in this case if you delete this uh, let it be i so it will become p p e e this is, this is the beautiful so we need to do that so we need to tell how many characters we need to do okay so this is a very straightforward problem so let's see the example so in the first case what we have do we have map yes do we have pi yes if we have this character so what we can do like suppose if we have map just think if we remove this a then like let it be here it is available m or here it is available f if we delete this like if we delete m then it is possible it can again form m a p but if we delete a then it can't so that means we can delete this a if map is present we will delete this and if pi is present we will delete this i okay but we need to see like there are cases where we can go wrong where like suppose if you have this thing so let it be M A P. This is the string, and again we have P I E. Right? We have this. We have this. So if you remove A here and I here, that means we are removing two characters. Right? But no, no, no. no. I've done something wrong. So let's check, check, check. So suppose not this. This P I E. If this is the case. Then map is also present, pi is also present, right? So if we delete a and i, then we'll delete two characters. But this is not the minimum. We can achieve this by deleting p. If we delete p, then what will become? M, A, I, and C. So this does not contain map or pi. So we can directly achieve the success. Right. <clears throat> so this is very straightforward. So what we can do to avoid this, like either we can not check this or we can jump it. There are two options. Like suppose if P is part of this, then what we can do? Like we can't include P here. We can do like this. This is one possible solution. Or otherwise, we can check separately if something like that map i. If something like that, we need to add one character only. So this is not the right thing, I feel, but we can do other way. Okay. So let's see the code for this. So what we need to do? We need to take the input and we just need to like iterate from i equal to 0 to i less than n minus 2 because we are taking the substring of length 3 that's why and we are declaring string t that is s dot substring from i equal to length of 3 and if this is like pi or map we'll do answer plus plus and we'll like update i pointer with 2 why 2 like i don't want this case map 
and pi this case if we found this i don't want to like make it happen pi i just want to ignore this i just want to start from here so that this duplicate case can be handled right hope you understood the solution like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding